you are disinfecting their human rights. Do you know that? Yeah. They have the right to exist. And give us what? Yeah. Give us money, can and give us what? Yeah. Whatever the security yeah. forces yeah. do, do what? Do it. For some time now, the indigenous people of Biafra have been praying, protesting, and agitating over the release of their leader, Mazen Enam Dekano. They have been calling for the federal government to release their leader from custody, and it seems like their prayer and their requests have been granted. The major prophet has revealed that a date has been set for Mazen Enam Dekano's release. Let me not waste your time. Let me just allow you to watch the video and listen to what the major prophet have to say. Please do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. And don't forget to share the video on all social media platform. Share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. One of the greatest matters that has been on the devil of the Lord because when we enter in the realm of the spirit, that's what called what is on the table of the Lord. Because the matter in Nigeria and the people of Nigeria is already the matter that God has brought to the table and has actually sat on the major prophet of God to now begin to expose things in the prophetic. The matter is a matter that concerns Nigeria people and the people of Nigeria. Namdekano and the rest of them. As I begin to look at the spiritual reign and the Lord begin to reveal matters and the Lord said that this matter has only this month and October. This month October to settle. This month and October. This month this month is called the month of July. July, September, October to settle. When the month has entered from the month of July August, September, and October, meaning that it remaining about apart from this month, you have about three months for matter to settle. Three months to settle the month of October. And the Lord said that the people of God all over the country must continue to pray the prayer because there are too many problems in the country that is more than this very matter that are already pressing the people. And the people that are called the people in, in authority have many things in their hand that they have to deal with. There are much problem than to now begin to now continue to visualize on the issue of Mazen and the Kano because the issue of Mazen and the Kano is the issue that has to do with what's called Nigeria people, Nigerian government must do the right thing that they need to do for things to settle. And the Lord said, This matter is apart from this month of July, this is what's called now, this month and October. This month and October. So may the Lord take absolute control in what is already shown in some of the major prophet of God for me to pop in in the spirit realm and begin to say from now the month of July, we have July, August, September and October, this matter has to completely be settled and that one put by the side. And then we we'll begin to now pray the prayer that we need to pray as people of God, remember. That every time the major prophet of God comes here, he will begin to now give you what's called revelations of things that you must pray as a child of God. You know, the one thing that makes God to always reveal things is for the people that want understanding, people that has understanding, to be able to understand mystery because everything about God is so mysterious that the people of God must follow the trend of time. We must also at this time and at this point People in Nigeria also at this time must begin to learn how to now completely begin to see how you can be producing what is called a food production. Because in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing this very raining season, this particular raining season that you are seeing all over the country, Nigeria, especially people in this Africa, Nigeria. The raining season is a raining a moment that everybody including the people who are in the city pay attention pay attention to the things of the spirit because things of the spirit are not canal and god will do nothing except the first of all review his matters spiritually and also show it to his people and then when the lord has shown it to the people it is it is something that we all must quickly follow up in the realm of the spirit so this very month of rainfall july Nigerian people and all the people who are in the city please do yourself a favor 
do yourself a favor how do you do yourself a favor find a way to now enter into what's called food production if you don't know how to produce but you have a way to now go into the the the, 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 the areas called the village areas and other areas and find a way to start to now find a way to start planting food planting whatever is eatable planting whatever is food that can be sold in the market please do that immediately do that immediately do that immediately if you are in the city and you have people in the village that can help you cultivate maybe yam maybe cassava maybe rice maybe any farm produce you have a way to go and produce quickly do that because immediately in the realm of the spirit i am seeing what's called the month the ending of the month of september to what's called december and january and the next year a lot of food crisis a lot of food crisis and people who can be able to produce are going to make much money they're going to make much money most of the prophecies that are given on this altar you must know that when the promise is given something will surely happen and it will surely come to pass that when god is now revealing to his servant the major prophet of god is for me to now continue to reveal the mystery and people who are already visible to see will now begin to now see those things coming to pass and then the people who are able to now go and do farming should try and do farming you may not have the opportunity to do farming in the in the in the tick 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 farm areas because of insecurity but you have the opportunity to do farming and do production around you or wherever you can be able to now do your production please do that immediately because it is very very important because this is something that will help you something that will make you go far because it's something that will help you to go far because definitely that's going to be what's called food crisis food crisis and so if the food crisis is coming people of god and every one of us must do everything possible to stay on the victory side to now stay ahead you don't have to make mistake i'm telling you if it is possible for you you have a million naira, you have two million you have five million you have hundred thousand you have two hundred thousand and you have what's called a place that's called the farm area in your community or in your village make sure that you make some food production because it will happen and people will be surprised two bags of yam that can be sold at 15 and twenty thousand power and the other food items will now begin to go up but if this opportunity is given and people cannot produce by themselves everybody will be happy because when you are happy you know that yes you have enough you have enough and that enough that you have is more than enough to now settle matters so do something about food production i'm talking to you as a prophet do something about food production because that is the next phase that everybody must do something about if you do something about that it will help the country and help everybody to now go as far as possible to combat the food crisis that is coming the food crisis that is coming and when this food crisis will come you can be able to now stand fail and also challenge it because you are also a producer that have produced what's called a food produce and this food produce that you are going to have you are going to make money and at the same time you have enough to eat and enough to take care of yourself so let everybody that is also in this very country look into this because it's a very important matter that is needed to be handled as the lord has revealed and has called the major prophet of god to prophesy so another issue that we must talk before we move out of nigeria and go to the international sea because when major prophet of god the lord is giving me revelations and i'm prophesying what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit a lot of people want to doubt it but at the end of it all you begin to see all of those things that are prophesy how they will now begin to now come to pass and also how all those things is going to be and i'm seeing what's called that people must do everything possible and also possible and possible to make sure make sure 
that you are not left out. Make sure you are not left out. Make sure you are not left out. If you cannot go into famine, then do what's called a food storage. Do what's called food storage. I'm giving you the message because a prophet is a man who God has shown the time and the things ahead and also the person now begin to now now speak and also reveal those things that god has shown so i want you to as speak as possible anyhow you can make it happen make it happen go straight away and that was called food storage food storage is important and then the people of this country i am seeing everybody now doing everything possible to be patient with all the people that are in control from now to the month of october month of october all the patient and everything that is needed to change things should be done as quick as possible right away and not allow the patient of the people to run out let the, everything that needs to be done be done to help the country and the people in the country to now stay impatient because people's patience are going to run out because of the food crisis that I'm seeing in the month of from the month of September ending October, November, December. We must not allow this to be a challenge. If possible, you can get rice, get food, and get things stored, stored while you are doing your day-to-day -day activity and other things so that whatever is ahead, we will use prayer to follow up and do our best. And the Lord will be praised forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Another matter that we are going to also look at is the people that are called the people of this country. People of this country must know that in everything in life, a step is what it takes to cover up a thousand miles. A thousand miles must start with a step until everybody and the people in the power, people in the middle and everybody will understand that the earlier people start to produce things on their own, the better for the country. Until everybody comes to understand this, that production is the next phase. Production is the next phase. And this production that is the next phase is not something to compromise. It's not something to take for granted. Is something that must be taken extremely serious. Everybody must take it extremely serious. What is it that I can produce? Can I become a producer of anything that is to be used in this country? Can I produce matches? Can I produce these? What is it that I can produce? Everybody must come to realization of this. And when everybody comes to realization of this, that is where victory is going to be given. Everybody must be a producer. A producer. We all must be producers. If we don't produce, <laughs> the way your dollar is, your dollar is going to have more challenges. Your banks are going to now break it all now. Begin to sell what's called banks are going to now go into what's called bank now moving into what is called share selling they want to sell shares and the people and a lot of people will now want to buy shares and when you want to buy share you are also careful because you may end up after buying the share and the bank you bought the share will not be able to meet up so many many things that is on our table that we need to pray about and then we must also do everything possible to commit the children the children in prayers we must pray against anything that is against the children of the country we must put them in prayers what's called this was called a vaccination against children any vaccination against children we must pray against these something that will be given to children and it will cause a lot of issues to children which will go to be in, 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 in to go to be a kind of a kind of this something that's going to be that's going to be announced and also make all children to now begin to receive them. We must pray against that and also go in the spirit realm to fight against it and ask the Lord to now plan forward the plan of the enemy and destroy every program of the wicked against children in this very 
country and also continue to now look up to the Lord and continue to ask the Lord that his will and his will alone should be done. Let the will of God be done. And when the will of God is done, we know that we are very, very victorious in every ramification. We can be able to now continue to look up to God and continue to believe God for what God is going to do for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We must also pray, pray and pray and pray because I am seeing what's called the matter that is going to settle from now to the month of October. October. October has become the matter time. I'm sure that we have heard everything the major prophet have said. I'm sure we have heard everything he said about Mazem Nandekalo, Biafra, and Nigeria's economy. It is important that we do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. It is important for us to do so. I know some of us may say, oh, it's of no need, it's of no use, that they should give, especially the Biafra should be saying, that they should give them Biafra. This, that, free Mazem Nandekalo, all this one, I understand. But please, let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. A lot is going on in the country at the moment the country is shaking a lot is just happening people are not happy people are going through struggles in the, in the country so it is important that we pray for our country for god to intervene and help us fix our nation nigeria nigeria is bleeding nigeria is going through a lot and also we are praying that mazen and the uh, should be released because in as much as i don't want this country to divide i also don't want Mazen and the Kano to be kept in custody. I don't understand why they will, be, they will arrest and keep him in custody for that long. I don't understand the, the, the reason. But I pray that he should be released. I pray that the federal government finally decide to actually set him free. Because for me, it does not make sense. It does not make sense at all. So please, let us do it to keep praying for our country Nigeria let us pray for the peace and unity pray for our leaders to for God to touch their heart so that they will be able to do the right thing for our country to do things that is going to favor our country Nigeria because if you look at what people are going through it's not easy so I just pray that God touches their heart for them to do the right thing for them to do things the right way that is my prayer for them thank you so much for watching the video please do it to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video you'll be notified if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you. Please do me a favor. Share the video on our social media platform. Share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in another video. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.